All right, so hi for everyone who doesn't know, my name is Abhi Suktial. I'm 13 years old and today I'm going to be talking to Anya Geis, the editor's choice for Stone Soup's 2020 book contest for, uh, for her novel, Born on the First of Two. Congratulations, Anya. Uh, so your, your idea of the story is actually quite different from other fantasy books. It's about a girl born in one world but living in another. What inspired you to write this kind of like fantasy adventure story? I don't know. I think I had this idea about just like the land of the clouds for a long time. I don't really know where it came from. Um, and then I realized like this was a good place for it. And I do like fantasy, but I also like this sense of like being grounded on earth and being able to write about earth. And so this kind of provided me with that way to do both, like to have the fantasy elements, but also then be able to describe Earth and write about our planet. All right, that sounds that sounds very interesting. But so there's a lot of world building from the for the land of the clouds versus Earth, uh, where you have the characters move between like different periods of history. How did you approach the whole world building process? I think that. I kind of wanted the land of the clouds. I mean, obviously it's different because it's kind of magical, but I wanted it to seem like regular life versus I wanted Earth to seem kind of special instead of the other way around. So I, I tried to make the land of the clouds just kind of as normal as possible, at least in my opinion. And then when she came down to Earth, then suddenly she was thrown into all of these different time periods, most of which weren't exactly like the world that we're living in now and like the present day and even if they were at least to myself i felt like they were different or they were distinctive all right well now i want to move on to your main character who is maya how would you like come up with her personality what were the key qualities that you wanted her to have yeah so i'm a very stubborn person and so i wanted to create a stubborn main character and i wanted to create a main character who isn't necessarily always likable but has to work through the problems that she has and has to work towards becoming like a better person i guess and just has to grow up so that was definitely influential in creating maya so and how does maya change throughout the story I think that she learns how to become a more balanced person because she has like a lot of these really unsteady emotions and tendencies about her. And she tends to be very stubborn and headstrong and isn't really willing to listen to anyone else at the beginning. And so I wanted her at the end of the story to have grown and kind of been able to mature. I didn't want her to get rid of those characteristics because I felt like they were an important part of who she was, but I wanted them to become more rounded and developed. All right, so your character seems very interesting. So um, many of the books I've read in the fantasy genre focus a lot on world building, like Lord of the Rings, Harry Potter, uh, and Wheel of Time. Did you want to focus more on characters, world building, or did you want to focus equally on both? I think definitely both. What I learned through writing this book is that while I like to read fantasy, and I definitely like to write it a bit, I don't love writing fantasy and I kind of prefer to write about real things ha or not real things like things happening on earth and I don't like world building as much so I felt like looking back on it I didn't go as much into the world building or at least like the physical characteristics of the land of the clouds it's just kind of there because I felt like the really important part of the story takes place on earth and as to the characters yeah I really wanted it to be a very character driven story and I really wanted to deepen Maya's character and have her be a very intricate person yeah, that's honestly kind of the same thing that when I'm writing my stories, sometimes I just like to focus more on the characters rather than the world building. And what was the writing process like for you? Did you have to go through many drafts to finish the story? Um, no, I mean, yes, ultimately, but not at the beginning because I didn't want to do that much revisions because I didn't feel like it. Um, I kind of wrote the bulk of it like in the spring of 2020 and then I let it sit for a few months and then I asked a few people like my grandfather my uncle a close friend to read it and I took their advice and kind of did some revisions though it was kind of minimal revisions because I didn't have a ton of time and I didn't feel like I necessarily wanted like to commit to going that deeper into the story because I kind of liked it how it was and then obviously I submitted it and then I worked with Emma throughout the spring of this past year to like really edit the book and so that was like the first real editing experience that I've had. And that was definitely very valuable. Okay.
Nice. Um, now, I don't want to give any uh, spoilers for the book, but could you tell us the, the key messages or message that you wanted to the reader to take away from the story? Um, yeah, I think I really wanted to focus on themes of just kind of growing up and like also just figuring out what your place is in this world, because I think that's something that I wanted Maya to struggle with as a character is feeling like she's born, she's grown up in the land of the clouds, but she doesn't necessarily feel like she belongs there. And so how can she manage this like balance between Earth and the land of the clouds, all while like trying to tackle a big organization? Um, but yeah, so I guess I just wanted to focus on growing up and figuring out what your place is in the world and where you think you belong. Okay, well, um, congratulations again on winning the Editor's Choice Award. I know the book must have taken a long time to write. Uh, I hope everyone gets a chance to read and enjoy the novel when it's officially released on December 1st. You can pre-order the book uh, right now on the Stone Soup store. And uh, thanks for letting me do this interview with you again. Yeah, thank you. This was really fun. You're a great interviewer.